We are currently in Hoi An, Vietnam, but when we arrived two weeks ago to Ho Chi Minh City, we were shocked at how expensive the restaurants, cafes, hotels, and everything was. And I also paid the price that she said initially and did not bargain at all. Oh. So it kind of had us asking ourselves, is Vietnam still an affordable destination to travel to? Well, today we're going to show you exactly what you can get for $100 in Vietnam. And what better way than to start the day with a good breakfast? So to save money for the budget, maybe take a hotel with breakfast included, at least, you know? For those of you that have breakfast, if you don't have breakfast, obviously it's a different story. But for those of you that love breakfast, like Jacqueline and I do, <laughs> always a good thing to get that. So our hotel actually will make us avocado and toast and eggs on request, but then they also have a buffet, pretty good breakfast, and it's included in the cost of our hotel. This hotel is costing us $41 a night. However, we did get a really good deal on Booking.com and we're actually getting this hotel for 50% off. So just take that into consideration. Oh, we? Yeah. By sticking to one platform, it's like sticking to miles. Like if you have a freaking flight for one airline, your chance of being upgraded or all that happy stuff you get is greater. Um, and that allows you to get such deals that we just got. Hello. Anyway, for now, we're gonna dive into this delicious breakfast and then get on with our day. So I thought I would give you a quick tour of the room so you can see what you get for $41 a night. The best part about this entire hotel room is our amazing view, but I'm gonna make you wait for it. So it's a very big room. We have this massive bed just here. This is, ugh, excuse all the mess, but tea and coffee and water and snacks and things like that. And actually the snacks are pretty affordable considering it's in a hotel. We have some seating areas and we have a beautiful, beautiful bathroom. Again, very, very big. But like I said, the best part of this hotel room is this. Look at that. It's such an amazing view in this hotel and the entire hotel is absolutely gorgeous. But last night was a full moon and we got to watch it from the balcony. Ooh, it's very bright out there. And we get to watch the sunrise every day from our bed. It's just so, so nice. So definitely check out booking.com because you can find some really good deals on We there. are coming up to our one year anniversary of full-time travel very, very soon. So we're planning on making a video answering everyone's questions about one year of full-time travel. So if you haven't yet liked and subscribed this video, make sure you subscribe. We'll be posting very soon asking for your questions. Another amazing thing about our hotel is they actually give us free bicycles to use to get around Hoi An. So all of our transport for today is coming to zero dollars. Plus, it's just a great way to get around and see the town. It's completely flat here, so it's really easy to ride the bicycles around and you get a little bit of free exercise too. All right, so after a bit of work digesting our breakfast, we decided to go against the grain by taking out in the middle of the day the peak of the heat, but to go explore a nearby beach. We haven't got to the beach yet, so we're gonna go check this out. And it's hot. It's so hot. Ah, very uncomfortably hot. It's way too hot. You have to run to the shade, and I think uh, you got to buy these beds or suffer with the hot sand. Shade is uh, an expensive thing here. Right, to the water. To the water. So everywhere along the beach, there are resorts and even smaller local restaurants that have these little sun baking chairs, which. Like we said, the sand is hot, so they're definitely necessary. And the sun is also hot, so having an umbrella, if you're gonna spend the day at the beach, you definitely want them. They are 50,000 for two chairs for the day. That's so cheap, guys. Such a good deal. And then we just ordered a nice cold drink as well for 25,000 dong. And I think we're gonna go for a swim and see what the water's like. 
way to spend a couple of hours however we do have a hundred dollars to spend in this video so we need to get a move on and go find something else and i think the next stop is gonna lunch. be lunch <laughs> it's so pretty oh my god honestly this place is absolutely gorgeous you get a different feel for a place when you ride around on a bicycle. There's just something pretty cool about it. Come on. Okay, that was a very hot and sweaty bicycle ride but we have arrived into Hoi An ancient town for lunch and there's no other classic lunch but a balmy when you're in Vietnam. Absolutely starving. We've come to this particular food stall because they do a vegan balmy. Whenever you see the word che, C-H-A-Y, that actually means it's vegetarian or vegan. These ones were $15,000 each. We also got a couple of cold coke. Ooh, that sounds crispy. So good. That is a delicious bami. It's got the right amount of spicy vegetables. Mm, so, so good. And for 15,000 dong? Yeah, that's crazy cheap. Yeah. This is the cheapest one we've had since we've been in Vietnam. And also, it might be one of the tastiest. If you've watched our last video, you know one of the sweet treats of Jacqueline is coffee. And what better things to have but a nice iced coffee on a 43 degree heat day. Yeah, especially in this heat. This beautiful cafe that we've come to with an amazing view right behind you of the farmlands and the rice paddy fields here is so affordable. I've ordered a Vietnamese salt coffee, which if you, like Max said, if you watched our last vlog, we tried this one and it was my favorite coffee so unexpectedly. This one was $30,000. Max got a mango smoothie, also for $30,000. I also love in Vietnam, they give you these cold teas instead of water, and they're really tasty. So we just came back to our hotel to rinse off because we were still very salty from the beach. And now we're going to Coconut Village because here they have these really fun basket boats that they take you on through this beautiful coconut lined rivers. And we're gonna go see what it's all about. Turns out we're on a safari. Hello. Oh my god. You have those few places in the world where it's like movie scene moments. This is one of them. This. Hoi An is one of those moments. Hoi An is one of those places. This is not a novelty. People know about it. We've just arrived at Coconut Village and as we were riding through, there is just okay. so many stalls or stands kind of selling the coconut boat rides or the basket boat rides. 
So you can easily come down here and just kind of negotiate a price. We kind of roughly knew what price-ish we should be paying and we came to one of the companies that had really good reviews online. Hello. Hello. You want to say hi? Xin <laughs> chào. Um, yeah, so we're just gonna go with them. It's 180 dong for both of us. We have asked if it includes everything. It just said, she says it does, so we'll find out, I guess. There's definitely not a hidden secret in Hoi An. There is so many people here, but it is honestly so picturesque and beautiful. So I can see why everyone comes here. It is so, so nice. I can't wait to get one of those little boats. They look like a lot of fun. <laughs> you come? Yeah. You come? You on the boat? Oh. Okay. okay. Thank you. All right, people. I'm so excited. <laughs> it's actually the best time of the day. Like the sun is setting. Look at this. Yeah, we timed this perfectly. Let's go on the coconut ride. <laughs> and if we haven't already asked you if you have been enjoying this video please make sure that you like subscribe leave a comment if this has been helpful because it really helps our channel grow and we so so appreciate your support what do you think ben you think they should subscribe yes, <laughs> 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 Based from what I could see on the drone shot, I feel like there's all having the same sort of trajectory and there's this very pretty spot that we're getting into. Now we're not the only one guys, but it's still very pretty. Beautiful. I think that if you were here by yourself, it wouldn't actually be as good. It's one of those very rare experiences that are enhanced by more people. So yeah, this is cool. What's up, Ben? Oh, okay. All right. Let's let's do it. We're we're gonna spin with both of us. Okay. You want us to sit in the middle? You okay like this? Oh, uh, video. Video. All oh, right. Yeah. This is Ben. All right, Ben is gonna. Whoa! Whoa. Mortal Kombat character. <laughs> Holy macaroni! Yeah! Oh. 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 Holy oh. shit! Holy oh. shit! You almost spun me off then! Oh. I'm getting dizzy! Whoa! Focus on something okay, in the distance! Is. Oh my god! <laughs> She's a rookie, eh? Okay, again, again, again. I'm, I know what's gonna happen this time. <laughs> wow! This is serious, guys. Oh my god, I'm dizzy. Yeah. We only spun for like a second. I uh, hold on. Yeah, okay. hold on. <laughs> no clapping. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> okay, hold it on this side so that I don't fall off. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Dizzy alert. Whoa. You gotta look inside the building. <laughs> What? Almost died! <laughs> Whoa! How are we not falling yet? I oh. don't know! Yeah. Oh. oh my god, I hope I don't get Ben, you're ah. mad! Oh. Ben! Ben, you're a madman! Oh. oh my god, I can't look outside the boat, otherwise Whoa. Ben will be sick. Wow! Nice. Wow! Go. Yeah! Yeah! Are you Thank you, Ben! Thank you! Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Damn! Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> Definitely, what's a one time only thing? I, if we do that a second time, I will for sure be sick. Oh my god! Oh, this is serious! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Sweating? <laughs> They're all traveling with their own big ass speakers! Also, our captain, he's a bit of a party animal. 
Mozo. He's like dancing and getting all into it. Oh my god, over there, there's a shop. It's like a little boat that's selling drinks and stuff. Well, I believe that this is... Uh, we got speakers there, we got speakers there. So there's actually even a photographer out here where we were just standing in the mud taking photos. So you can pay him to take photos of you, which is amazing. And the cats behind. These guys behind us, they're having a real party doing karaoke. <laughs> oh, a lot of time in the beach. You might have remembered in a recent vlog, I said that Max is actually 80 years old. I've just turned 87. <laughs> <laughs> now that we're out of the crazy party zone, we're just basically drifting down the river alongside all of these beautiful coconut palms. The sun is setting, so the sky is those beautiful pink and pale blue hues. And it's so peaceful right now. This is actually a really beautiful way to end the day. But not the night because my stomach's calling, so. <laughs> we are heading back now to end this one, but stay tuned because I found a really cool restaurant that we're gonna go check out. That was so, so much fun. Thank you. Are you happy? So happy, thank you very much. Let's go for dinner. Mm. <laughs> We've made our way to Peanuts, which is actually a vegan restaurant here in Hoi An, and it has amazing reviews on Google, which is why we chose to come check it out. It's also quite close to where we're staying, which is really convenient. So far, we have ordered an absolute feast and they bring it out as it's ready, which is amazing because we're starving. The first dish is a vegan orange chicken with black organic rice. We also ordered some stir fried vegetables, some tofu in soy lime, some extra rice. Max got a beer, I got a passion fruit kombucha, and the food looks insane. Let's see how that is comfort food right there. It is so yummy, really crunchy, sweet because of the orange sauce that they have on there and the rice. <laughs> Perfectly cooked rice, amazing. We got more food coming. Thank you. What an amazing day. Dinner came to 260 dong and it was absolutely delicious. We also stopped on our way home and got a couple of Cornetto ice creams, which came to 50,000 dong for both of those ice creams. So in total today, we actually spent just $88. And I'm gonna remind you that is Australian dollars there as well, which is even lower if you are coming from the US or Europe or Britain, $88 is probably more like $50 for you guys. So that is incredible that we did everything we did today, stayed in a beautiful hotel, and for two people, that's the total cost for both of us. So I think uh, we can safely say that yes, Vietnam is absolutely still affordable. We didn't try to not spend money today, but we also didn't try to spend money. This is probably a typical day for us as we travel full time for the last 10 months. If you enjoyed this video and you enjoy watching it, blah, blah and you enjoy watching travel budget videos, then make sure you like and subscribe to our channel because we always share how much we spend on our videos as well. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>